Shajarat al-Dur, Queen of Egypt. Following Razia's accession to the Delhi throne, 1236, Shajarat al-Dur, a magnificent woman, was crowned Queen of Egypt 14 years later, 1250. Shajarat al-Dur was a Mamluk and a Turk, just like Razia. Shajarat specifically belonged to the Bari Mamluks, a Turkish tribe that had made its home on one of the islands that dot the Nile. For the Muslim community, those were difficult times. The Crusaders and the Mongols had a de facto agreement at the time to eradicate Islam. Only India, not Egypt, had managed to elude the Mongols, thanks to Al-Tumish, Razia's father diplomacy, s and firm stance. The Mongols had conquered Samarkand, Bukhara, Kabul, Herat, Nshaper, Multan, and Tabriz, 1219-1242. Iraq, Afghanistan, Khorasan, and Persia were in ruins. After being expelled from Palestine, the Crusaders arrived in Spain and took advantage of the political upheaval in Andalusia to conquer a large portion of the Iberian Peninsula. In 1236, they conquered the Amaway Caliphate's Spanish capital, Cordoba. Egypt and North Africa were now the focus of Crusader warfare. The united assault of the Mongols and the Crusaders was repelled by the Mamluk Turks. The Mamluk shield was what stopped the Crusader Mongol army at the gates of Jerusalem and at the banks of the Indus River while the Arabs, Persians, and Andalusians knelt before their enemy. Sultan Biber's victory in the Battle of Ain Jalut 1261, prevented Jerusalem, which had previously suffered in the year 1096, from experiencing the same fate as Mecca and Medina. Shajarat Alder was born into slavery as a man -loop. She ascended to power in Egypt, much like Razia of India. All people, men and women, rich and poor, have the freedom to reach their entire existential potential within the vast fold of the believing Imam. Second, the old nobility in the Muslim world was devastated by the destruction brought about by the Mongols and the Crusaders. With the fall of Cordoba in 1236, the Umayyad Emirate in Spain vanished, and the Abbasids in Baghdad were overthrown in 1258. The old social and political system was destroyed, giving the Mamluks, who had been slaves, a chance to take control and establish a new system. As per Turkish custom, there was space for both men and women in this new order as opposed to the old aristocratic one. She was wed to Mali Kalsale, Egypt's final Ayyubid emperor. Al Saleh passed away in 1250 as King Louis IX's joint French-German Crusader army attacked Egypt. Turan Shah, the son of Al Saleh, was not present in Cairo at this crucial moment. Turan received a message from Shajarat requesting his immediate return to the capital. By asking Shajarat to rule Egypt, he alienated the strong Mamluk generals who eventually killed him. 1250. The caliphs of Baghdad provided Sunni Islam with the justification for governing. Shajarat was a Sunni Turk who adhered to Hanafi Fiqh. Al Mustansir, the 46th caliph of the Abbasid dynasty, ruled over Baghdad. Shajarat requested Al Mustansir's approval, and while Baghdad was debating her request, she presided as Egypt's monarch. Shajarat, however, was unable to convince the caliph to grant him the title of Malika. In Cairo than in Delhi, there was less political pressure on Baghdad to accept a woman as head of state. The presence of the obedient Sultan and Razia in India to the east offered some protection from the Mongols, who were approaching Baghdad after devouring all of the Caliphate's Asian domains. Cairo, on the other hand, was a long way from the Mongol front lines and was still very much in the Abbasid spiritual sphere of influence. 
As a result, Al Mustansir refused to accept Shajarat as the Sultan of Egypt. In an effort to legitimize its expanding influence in Cairo, the Mamluk Guard proposed as Adnaibak, one of their own generals, as the Sultan. When Baghdad agreed to this nomination, Mamluk authority in Egypt was established. She married as Adnaibak because she was determined to remain on Cairo's main stage. Along with the name of the new Sultan, the Queen's name was also written on the coins and blessed in the Friday sermons. Due to their shared political sway, the Queen and Sultan were able to maintain their monogamous bond. Shajarat was unable to accept the idea of giving up her husband and her position of authority to a third party when Azadan made the decision to wed the Turkish Atabeg Badruddin of Mosul's daughter. Shajarat had to suffer when the Mamluk generals learned of her involvement in the killing. The lives of these two great women, Razia of India Pakistan and Shajarat of Cairo, show how challenging it has been for women throughout Islamic history to attain positions of power. The caliphs first distanced themselves from their subjects. The prophets and the first four caliphs Summa evolved into the Alma of subsequent sultans. Women were particularly affected by this political exclusion in two ways. Second, the political elite of the Fatimid, who knew way, and Abbasid courts all supported the exclusion of women from social or public engagement. At the initial stage, both men and women Muslims experienced marginalization and were required to wear a headscarf, concealment, isolation, from their rulers. Women were subject to an additional hijab from public life at the second level. Women were completely and totally excluded from political and social life. Finally, when the caliphate came to an end and the Muslims lost their military and political sway, they discovered themselves completely unprepared to face the challenges of modern civilization, which pushed its way onto the global stage with slogans of individual freedom, equality for women, and personal responsibility.